it's important to connect with the past. It could be an amazing story we just would lose. And I was straight away up in the loft looking. <laughs> We came up with the idea that there were people would have items to do with the First World War. We did a little project, we got about 4,000 objects, so we're trying to train communities, people in schools, to sort of do this themselves. Everyone from the community have come into Hollyport. They've been interviewed about any objects that they've brought in, and then the objects are then taken to be digitised. The stories will all get uploaded onto an online archive. Once they're uploaded, anyone from around the world can access them. Some of the people who are coming through the door today, it's not that long until whatever they have is passed down to the next generation. Every time you pass something down from generation to generation, things get gradually lost in the mists of time. It's been great to see so many volunteers and it just shows that it's not just like history, people that think the project's important. You can literally read them and it's like all about what they've been doing at home or been doing in the war. So it's quite good to like get involved and see things firsthand. Bye. Handing this over to the local communities, they own it, they can get it going. So hopefully it will kind of pave the way and show people that, that you can really get involved in a sports project like this.